Welcome to Pro Fabrication. My name is Steve Salsley, owner of Pro Fabrication, and we're here to talk about headers and components. Uh, today, right now, we're going to talk about collectors. Collectors for the, uh, the professional fabricator to the uh, do-it-yourself uh, header builder in his garage. These are some choices that you need to make uh, when you're deciding on the header that you're building. Uh, we have a stamped or uh, formed type collector. This would be considered a weld on type collector. You will utilize a star piece is what we would call this. This you will have your four tubes coming together. You will weld that star onto those four tubes that will be in there and then you will weld around the outside. And that is a four, four into one weld on collector. This is the finished product. This is what it would look like. This is your most economical collector. These are available in stainless and mild steel. This is another version of that same thing. This one would need an end welded onto it. This one already has an end onto it. Again, just a formed, simple, collector. These are also four into uh, another four into one type collector. We call this a flat collector. Uh, these are good for space constraints. If you've got a chassis rail out here and your engine's right here, you can't get a conventional collector between that frame rail. You can utilize something like this. You could also lay it flat uh, maybe uh, for uh, like a Honda or something that where the header's coming around the front coming under an oil pan. Uh, this is great for space uh, constraints. This is another form collector and what we have utilized here we have put a uh, tra we call these transitions they can be called reducers but what we're doing is we're our uh, we have a given diameter here typically smaller like a uh, three inch out to a three and a half and this would be somewhat considered a merge collector. Not a true merge collector, but a merge collector nonetheless. And this is something that if you're building a street rod, uh, aesthetically looks pleasing, looks different. Something to step, step your product, uh, your header, your job from somebody else's. So, we have here a bunch of different transitions or reducers. We typically use these on collectors, but they can be also utilized in the opposite direction, such as a three inch collector header and you want to run a two and a half inch tailpipe, you can reduce it down and go out with a two and a half inch. And so we have a variety of different transitions here, uh, reducers here. We also have different lengths. The next collector we're going to talk about is a slip-on type collector. And these are actual true merge collectors. A true merge collector is defined by uh, a piece of tubing that is bent, mandrel bent, and then it is cut. This happens to be a three into one collector. This is stainless. What would you use that on, Steve? Uh, these are utilized on uh, typically race cars. I mean, just about any kind of race car is a, a good application for this. Uh, a formed collector is an ideal choice for a street rod application where you want to have no leaks. Race car application, um, these do slip on and they're meant to slip on and off. Uh, potential leaks are, are there, but once these get hot, uh, they do expand and that, that joint does seal up. But on a hot rod or street rod application, you would prefer to use a weld-on collector. On a race car, we want to be able to change this collector in and out, maybe for performance uh, reasons. Maybe we want to repair a header. Maybe we need to take the header apart to get it in and out of the vehicle. Those are all reasons to use a slip-on collector. This is a four-into-one merge collector. You can see that it's... Uh, four individual pieces of bent 
mandrel bent tubing that are welded together. It has a nice uh, spike in the middle. Goilet is also is what it's referred to as. All of these things enhancing flow. And all of these, uh, the things that are going to be important when you call us and you want to buy one of these, we need to know the inlet diameter. This inlet diameter is two and a quarter. We need to know what degree of bend that this uh, bend would be bent on. So we have different lengths of these available and that length is determined by the degree of bend or the, the angle that this is. So a sharper bend would make a much shorter collector. A uh, less degree of bend, like a 10 degree or 7 degree, would make a longer collector. The next thing that, we're need, that we need to know is what choke diameter you may want. The choke diameter is this diameter or finished diameter. This would be considered a, a three and a half inch. It's just a little under three and a half right now, about 30 thousandths. And what we would do then is we would weld on either a straight piece of tubing at that point or we would weld on a tapered piece to make it a true merge collector. The next thing that we need to know is what transition or what reducer or what, whatever you want to call this, what you want to have on the end. So it's going to be the same choke diameter as what the collector was. Then we need to know what angle you may want right here. This happens to be an 8 degree angle right here. And then we need to know what uh, outlet diameter you want. What uh, tailpipe you're going to be putting it to or uh, if, if maybe this is the uh, exit out of the car. Uh, typical five inch collector uh, transition like this would be utilized in a race car application, drag racing, and it may just simply end, come out the fender. Uh, and this happens to end at about five inch diameter. These are all important things to know when you call Pro Fabrication to supply you with your collector and all your header component needs. Please contact us at profabrication.com or just give us a call. Thank you.